This is the book of First Peter, chapter 4, and verse 7, and it says it read, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. All right, Brekat the Yahweh, Brekat the Yahweh Shai. All right, Brekat the Yahweh, Brekat the Yahweh Shai, Brekat the Yahweh, Brekat the Yahweh Shai. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like I am that's pushing his word and our uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say shalom, you know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Mommy Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, is going to be basically on the end of all things is at hand, all right, the end of Esau, Edom, you know, the so-called white man's rulership, all right, which he's in rulership right now, because the Lord said he's going to set up the basis of men the lord the scripture said the lord ruleth in the kingdom of men all right and, and what he said it over it the, the basis of men he saw he's the basis of all men all right and he's the wicked that the bible speaks of the scripture said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked so we at the end of esau even the so-called white man's rulership so what we have to be therefore sober and watch unto prayer so you got to be sober-minded man not being distracted by the things that is of the world because she says um there i think it's the first peter yeah first peter chapter five and verse eight it says yeah first peter chapter five verse eight the end of the point says be sober all right so it's important to be sober minded be in these scriptures man all right because this earth what is is given into the hand of the wicked man this earth this earth is is ran by the physical counterpart of Satan, which is Esau, Edom, and the, the vibration that's out here is is nothing but wickedness, man. All right, with the social media, where the people around you, like Apostle Har, he did a video. If these people, they're not in the truth. They got demons on. They got they got at least one demon on them. All right, and we come in contact with all these people, you know, through our walk. You have to go to work. You have to deal with your family. All right, so we got to be sober minded. We got to be into these scriptures, man. All right, we got to be soaked in. And zone in with Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You gotta watch unto prayer, man. It's always important to pray. That's our that's our lifeline. That's our help. That's where our help come from. Yahweh Bashim al Shai. The scripture say the angel, you know, uh, I think I believe Raphael. He brings the, the the your prayer go up as an incense before the Lord. He brings the your prayer up to the Lord, man. That's how he did in the book of Tobit, man. All right, so let's continue on. First Peter chapter five verse eight says, "Be sober." Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, which Esau, even the so-called white man, he's the physical counterpart of Satan. He's the devil. All right. Then you have the spiritual demon, Satan, man. All right. It says, as a roaring lion walking about, as a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Just read the book of Job. The Lord told, ask Satan, where are you, where are you coming? He said, going to and fro throughout the earth. All right testing you all right testing you see if you're gonna uh, see if you're gonna um uh, give up on the lord man all right see if he see if he can sift you all right just how the lord told peter satan desired to sift you but the lord said he prayed for him and the lord you got to believe that yahweh shah is praying for us yahweh shah is on our behalf praying to the most high for us man we pray to the lord because we can't go directly to the most high because yahweh shah is that mediator the lord is not looking at us the lord looking through looking at us through yahweh shy man all right because our our righteousness has filthy rags man all right so satan's like a roaring lion see he can devour you man trying to sift you all right but you got to stand firm and rooted in our lord yahweh shy rooted in the scriptures watching the apostles and the elders man the best of your ability man all right verse 9 it says whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brother and that are in the world so we go through the same afflictions man brothers lose uh cars brothers get car crash brothers lose women brothers get uh 
um, so to say, injured, but that's the Lord wounding you. All right. Brothers go through financial troubles. We all going through the same thing, but what? The Lord is on our side. We we are we are more than conquerors. All right. Through through our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. In this talk, the scriptures talk about is a light affliction. All right, but we have to be alert and sober minded in this truth, man. So back at First Peter chapter four, just going into uh, the end. So these demons gonna ramp up, but this the, the left hand gonna ramp up, but the right hand, our Lord Yahweh Shai, is gonna ramp up too. He got the angels guard, guiding us, man. And it's only gonna get worse for these people, but it's only gonna get better for the elect of Israel. Lord, we, Lord, when we are part of that, Lord, what are we the hope for that? First Peter chapter four verse seven says, "But the end of all things are at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer, because prayer is our is the key, man." Verse eight it says, "And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins." You gotta love the brotherhood, man. All right, it shows charity. All right, be there when a brother needs you. All right, helping assist brothers. All right, being the help, being the ear. All right. To the Akia, man. All right, that fervent love, man. Because why? It covers the most to the sins, and, and what the Lord has loved nothing. All right, uh, then he that dwelleth uh, with unity, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, how pleased and pleasant is the men who dwell in, in unity, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Was the Hebrews? Well, that's let brotherly love continue, but it's um, Psalms 140. Psalms 140. Bear with me. Psalm 133, my bad. That's yes, like it. Psalm chapter 133, verse 1. It says, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it, pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And that's pleasant to the Lord, man. Alright. That's pleasant, pleasant, uh, pleasant to Yahweh 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 Shai. Alright. Alright. So these we know that. All right, this shit is over with. You know, World War Three about to happen. The MOTB, the mark of the beast is about to be made mandatory. They already switching this financial uh, system. You know, the Fed now. All right, you got famine on the rise. You know, pestilence, more pestilence. All right, but what we we're sober minded and the Lord, you know, and we loving the brethren. All right, we fearing the Lord. All right, the Lord said, um. Uh, if, if we um roughly paraphrase, if we do it, do what he says, all right, he's gonna deliver us, man. As he says, Lord said, you have kept the word of my patience. I will also keep in the hour of temptation. All right, all right. The Lord in the book of Judith, or is it Esther? The book of Judith. If we're doing right to the Lord, no, no, nobody can. When the enemy come in, they can't touch us. All right, and that's what's gonna happen. Jacob's trouble, but the Lord said, what we're gonna be saved out of it. All right. As long as we doing what what the Lord commanded us. All right. Should say no evil shall touch them. Is that wisdom of Solomon? Three. Yeah, this is the book of um, wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. We gotta believe, like we're in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Shah. We doing His will. And there shall no torment touch them, you know. And Lord, when we are party elect, there ain't going to be no torment touching us, man. All right? Because we got this wisdom. All right? We know we got the fear of the Lord in us. All right? Yahweh Bashim HaShah is going to be with us. He's going he gonna to show up for his elect, man. Isaiah 33 and verse 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Us fearing the Lord. You know, having this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, it's gonna keep us stable in these dark times, man. So the Lord said, be, be uh sober, be vigilant, because your adversary devil like a wrong light, see who he, who he may devour, man. All right? That's why you gotta stay locked in the body, in in the, in amongst the amongst the congregation of the brothers, man. The flock, you know, the apostles and elders, you gotta be in the body, man. Because if you're not around the body, you, you, it's easy for you to get spewed out. All right. You gotta stay locked. You gotta stay locked in the spirit, because why? There's gonna be a lot of sifting, all right. And those who's not rooted and grounded in your how about you, my shot gonna get screwed out. But we pray we're not, all right, gonna get screwed out. We pray that we stay on fire, and the Lord delivers, man, on that great day, man. 
And that movie, if you see that movie Oppenheimer, it goes into those nukes, all right? It was going into those uh, atomic bombs, which they try to make the hydrogen bomb. And then what they have, now they have that nuclear bomb, man, all right? And that's how this place going to go down, with fire, man. So you want to be in the good graces of Yahweh by Shema The Lord is already putting in the movies, all right? The end of Babel, the end of, of Esau's so-called white man's rulership, man, all right? All right? It's plain the prophecies are speaking, all right? And it's going to come to pass. So we got to stay zoned in, man, the best of our ability in prayer, man. Watch. Watch as well as pray, as the scriptures say, man, that we enter not into, into temptation, man. And we say the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil, you know. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever, man, you know. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying, you know, just quick to the point, man. You know, Lord, when it was edifying to the elect of, of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give, give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kwadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Rubel. And I want to give up peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing Shalom.